You might recognize it by now. This is SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes the novel coronavirus, COVID-19. A single cell is just 120 nanometers in diameter. Here it is at 12 million times magnification, a microscopic virus that's turned the world upside down. Each cell of the virus is made up of several parts. On the outside, it's covered in nodules topped with distinctive protein spikes. It's these spikes that give the coronavirus family its name. In Latin, corona means crown, see? And the name COVID-19 simply means coronavirus disease of 2019. The corona protrudes from the glycoprotein membrane, an envelope of lipid molecules that coat the virus cell's body. This fatty layer of skin is very delicate and it falls apart when it meets soap. And that's why for now soap is our best weapon against the virus and why you should take your time washing your hands. After 20 seconds, soap penetrates the grease and grime on our hands enough to rip the virus membrane apart, killing it. Under that oily skin is where the real trouble lies. Inside each cell is a small sample of RNA, ribonucleic acid. It carries the virus's genetic code and allows it to multiply, leading to infection. But how does the viral RNA get into our bodies? It comes back to those protein spikes. After the virus has entered the human body, it uses those spikes to attach itself to a healthy cell in the respiratory system. Once that's done, the viral RNA is released and the takeover begins. The cell reads the viral RNA and makes proteins that keep our body's immune systems suppressed. That allows the virus to reproduce and multiply, killing healthy cells and potentially causing lifelong damage or death. So how do we beat this disease? Again, it's all to do with those protein spikes. They might be its strength, but scientists think they might also be its weakness. They now know its genetic code and can recreate it. A trial that began in Seattle is injecting people with that protein because it doesn't contain the viral RNA, they believe it's harmless, but it can teach the body how to make antibodies against the protein spikes. Those antibodies would cover the spikes, incapacitating the virus and prevent it from piercing healthy cells. That's the hope. It's just one of about 30 trials underway around the world right now, but most researchers agree a vaccine is still 12 to 18 months away. For now, the best way to avoid becoming infected is to wash your hands, avoid touching your face and keep practicing physical distancing.